Hello, this is Scarlett with Serene Support Yoga, and today we are doing a flow to help with back cramps. So if you have lower back pain, this is for you. So let's start on our hands and knees. Um, a prop that we might need later on is a bolster or a pillow that'll help our twist. So let's come on our hands and knees, and then we'll bring our knees out wide wide as your mat, toes come to touch, we're coming to our child's pose, so your choice, you can reach your fingertips out towards the top of your mat, let your back become long, your choice for hips above the knees or hips come down onto the ankles, feel that big lower back stretch, you can place one cheek on the mat, just relax here, and breathe. So this is pose number one for our lower back pain. Child's pose. Pose number two. We're going to come onto our back. So you can bring your legs onto one side, lay on your side. Then we're gonna come onto our back. You can keep your knees bent. And then we'll bring the knees into the chest. We'll give a little circles with the knees to massage the lower back. Pose number two is a twist. So with the arms out wide, we're gonna bring the knees down to one side. You can lower down to the left side first. Option to bring your pillow or bolster underneath your knees if you don't want to go all the way down. You can look towards the right for more of a twist. On the exhale, we relax the right side of the lower back. So we're going to come back to center slowly, one knee at a time if needed, and then we're gonna to come to the other side. So hug the knees to center, come into a neutral position, big breath in, and on the exhale, knees come down to the right side, slowly look towards the left, and relax all tension, melt into your mat. So if these poses feel really good, feel free to pause the video and just stay here for a few breaths. I'm going to show you the next pose. So we're going to come back to center, hugging the knees. You can make a couple circles as we transition. Just take a few breaths. And on the next exhale, you can come onto your side use your arms to come back up to seated position. This is when we're going to use our bolster or our pillow for the third pose for our twist. So we're going to sit on our left hip with our left calf in line with the long side of our mat. The right calf is in line with the bottom side of your mat. So think 90 degree, 90 degree angles with your legs. Bring the bolster or our pillow right into our left hip. And then we'll reach up with the right fingertips. Right fingertips come up and over, reaching towards the top of your mat. Left fingertips come out wide. So again, a right angle with your arms. Looking past the left fingertips. We'll bring the hands underneath the shoulders, press ourselves back up, and then we're going to bring our knees together. We're gonna to switch sides so you can sit on your right hip. Again, the left calf is in line with the bottom mat. Right calf is in line with the long side of your mat. Bolster is right up against your right hip. Left hand reaches up, right hand reaches out, and then we lay down on the bolster for a big twist. Take a big breath in. And on the exhale, hands come underneath the shoulders. We're pressing ourselves back up. You can bend the knees, gaze towards the back of your mat. 
hand, we're gonna bring our hands together and bow for a namaste. Thank you for practicing. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hope this helped. Feel free to hold these poses however long they feel good and just listen to your body. Thank you for practicing.